Hi there. I wanted to share something with you which uh, puzzled me for a while, and I think I solved the thing now. Um, this is a, just a part of a cube where I deleted uh, three faces so we can look inside, and uh, around the scene is uh, a physical sky dome, which we find Arnold Light's physical sky. So when we render this now, um, we see this uh, box with a sharp shadow because the sun is currently falling from this side and the physical sky uh, shader and sky dome sh uh, shades this properly. So we have a sharp shadow here and um, we will we'll place an object in, in here. And uh, let's go for polygon modeling here. Uh, right mouse click on this icon and we can, well, uh, choose a helix. Move it up a little bit, and uh, here in the attribute editor, you have the poly helix one node, and you can change the number of coils, for example, the height and the width, like this. And th this is uh, what we're quite satisfied with now. When we render it, we see the shadow of the coil, of course, of the helix, and. Arnold renders this just marvelously, just like always. Let's have a look at the shadow um, closer here. With uh, From this angle we see the object and the shadow, probably. Because this is going to be about shadows now. So um, we have nice and soft shadows here. Um, not uh, too sharp and uh, so slightly blurry, just like it would appear in nature and uh, what we'll do now is we'll um, go to this material here it's a Lambert it's the standard my Lambert shader and when we change the transparency of this object uh, from black to white meaning it's shows in the in the viewport it shows totally transparent it doesn't change a thing here in the rendering because Arnold just ignores the transparency for the standard Lambert shader so we can leave it like this. But let's do a right mouse click and uh, apply a new shader here. Right mouse, um, new material, and we choose an Arnold shader, Arnold standard surface shader, which is white, that's why it's brighter than before, same shadow, and uh, it's slightly shiny um, because uh, we have reflections in the standard uh, Arnold shader. Uh, this is about the shadow and um, here in the AI standard surface sh um, shader node you see the base uh, weight etc the specular weight if we want to take the reflections off we would reduce this weight from 1 to 0 for example here we have the index of refraction which we talked about in another tutorial and here is the section transmission so now when we uh, choose a uh, transmission weight instead of zero say something like 0 0.8 so the object becomes quite transparent we see the transparency here but and that's what puzzled me we don't see the transparency in the shadow this has to do with that we're here in the documentation of solid angle transmission opacity for Maya. Maya is activated here. Uh, this brief website tells us that there are two ways of creating transmission. One is uh, about opacity and one is the real transmission. That's uh, what we just used. And down here you see a sphere using trans transmission only. Um, and uh, and other things like here this the shadow um, of a, but that's a mask the critical thing which we're interested in is the opaque switch and uh, transmission will work however any shadows cast by the objects will always be solid and not pick up the transparent color or density of the shader so we need to deactivate the opaqueness so uh, where is the opaque switch well the opaque switch is not a shader thing, it's, a, uh, it's an object thing. So um, we click in the outline, we click on Helix, 
which is our object here. And here we under Arnold we have an Arnold section down here. It's not in the uh, uh, first node of the helix. It's in the second node. There's no Arnold section here. And in the third node, there is no, no Arnold section either. So it's the uh, it's a shape node. That's important because the shapes are the objects which are, or the nodes which are being shaded, uh, which use the standard surface shader in this case. Okay, we, let's open the Arnold tab here. And here we have uh, Arnold translator. It tra uh, sees this thing not as a mesh light but as a poly mesh which is totally fine but it renders it as opaque and now we switch this thing off and now we get the transparency shadows very much intact and all right and now you can see them working here let's um, get a little bit further out here and render it again it's a very delicate shadow so basically um, when you introduce new objects uh, and new shaders uh, just keep in mind if you want to render transparency values to um, go back to the original geometry shape node and uh, toggle the uh, opacity to make a brief um, recap here this object comes uh, as a Lambert shader harsh shadow here we can uh, apply a new material an Arnold shader standard surface shader we set the weight of the transmission to say 0 0.773 we render it again we have the same sharp shadow but the object is already transmitting a lot of light and showing reflections the shadows of the of the helix is totally intact but this shadow is not so we go uh, to the shape node we pick the torus and um, here we find the Arnold section open it and change the opaqueness from on to off so we have this soft torus shadow now here the background basically is that the opaque switch if you switch it on the rendering is much faster and uh, that's why Arnold dif differs uh, quite a bit from other rendering software packages uh, in this respect so two nodes to consider the shader and the shape